CF Moto has just revealed details about its new 1,000 cubic centimeters V4 engine, with which it seeks to compete on equal footing with the most prominent superbikes on the market. But before we get too excited, let's take an in-depth look at what this engine really represents, and if it's as good as it looks. This 90-degree V-twin engine promises 209 horsepower at 14,500 RPM, and 84 lb-ft of torque at 12,500 RPM. It sounds good, but it adds two concepts that Ducati and other brands use to improve performance, I'll tell you about them in a moment. But is this a truly revolutionary breakthrough? The answer could depend on who is looking at it. In recent years, the market has seen several innovations in V4 engines, with brands like Ducati and Aprilia pushing the limits. So while Kmoto's proposal impresses on paper, it's not the only competitor in this niche. As for the bike's final design, CF Moto gave us a hint, a life-size sculpture they've dubbed the Master of Speed. With aggressive lines and MotoGP-inspired aerodynamics, the future superbike appears to have a serious focus on maximizing airflow. While it's unclear if this design will make it to production intact, there's no doubt that CF Moto is going for a striking aesthetic. Now on to two key elements the counter-rotating crankshaft and finger followers. The counter-rotating crankshaft is a technology used by several brands to improve drivability. This type of crankshaft rotates in the opposite direction to other components, such as another crankshaft on the same engine or even the drive wheels. Its function is to reduce inertia forces and vibrations that affect the vehicle's stability and roll. On the other hand, Finger followers not only transmit the movement of the camshaft to the valves, but also allow more precise control over the opening and closing of the valves. In a future video I will go deeper into these terms, so follow me so you don't miss it. With this announcement, it is clear that CF Moto is looking to gain a presence in the competitive world of superbikes. Can this V4 put them on the big league map?